This video is meant to demonstrate the operation of Enhancement 1 once completed. You'll notice on the screen that I am using a Mac computer and I have brought up my Champ control panel and I have started my Apache web server. For Enhancement 1, that is all you will need. You will not need the database server for Enhancement 1. So having started the servers, here is my NetBeans and notice that I am working in my Acme folder. Now I have lots of other folders inside of my local host um, project. You will not have those, don't worry about it. Um, but I have added my common folder for my modularization. I have my CSS folder which now has a CSS file in it where I've written all of my CSS. You'll notice that I have created a folder to store my template. Here is my template file. I've also moved the text file that I provided to you in the download uh, that has all the content for the home page into this folder just to get it out of the way. And then finally, I have my home page that has all of the content in it as required. So how can I test these files? With my server running and being in NetBeans, uh, because everything is local on my own machine, all I have to do is right click on the file and then choose run. And as you can see, here is my template file. Uh, if you compare this to the um, screenshot that is provided in the enhancement directions, you should find that they look identical. Um, my logo, my tools, my navigation bar, a, a generic content title here that will change whenever I add an, an actual page with content and then here is the footer. Alright, so that's what the template should look like. Uh, if I were to take this file, uh, right click, go to inspect, I am using Chrome and then if I turn on my device emulator and bring this down, you'll now notice that I am looking at this as if it were in a Nokia Lumina phone, 320 pixels wide. And again, you'll notice that I shouldn't have to do any horizontal scrolling, nor should I have to do any zooming in order to be able to read the content. Okay, so there is that file. And then, if I were to go back to NetBeans, close the template, and then do the exact same thing on the home page, right click, run, I should get the same behavior. <clears throat> Here is my uh, home page now. Again, notice there is a meaningful title up here in the uh, tab. Here's the home page itself. I'm still looking at it as if this were the Nokia screen uh, and um, content. There's my hero. Here are the reviews that belong to this particular product and below that are my various featured recipes. Okay, I'm going to go ahead now and uh, exit out of emulation mode so that I'm now back into full screen mode and you can see that everything now expands and so my responsiveness is in place. So that is a quick demo of what these two pages should look like when you are done with Enhancement 1. And then finally, what I'll do here is very quickly, um, I'm going to validate these. So I go to my web development tool. I click on Tools. Uh, you can't see this, but I am choosing, uh, actually, I think I'll do this so that you can see it. Uh, because everything is running locally, I have to validate local CSS and validate local HTML. So I'll go ahead and click Validate Local CSS. There's my green bar. You should be familiar with that from the CIT 230 class. And then finally, Validate Local HTML as well. And notice no errors, no warnings, which is exactly what we're looking for. So, that is Enhancement 1. Uh, your goal is to reproduce something that looks and behaves pretty much identical. So, good luck.